Thanks, Your Excellency, the Chief of Staff and all members, visitors, allow us to use this opportunity to congratulate you and offer you some feedback to His Excellency and the government on some policy decisions taken since assuming office. First, we wish to congratulate you on the free SHS policy. As people involved in providing support to several needy children to get education, we are well placed to assess the impact of such a transformative policy on most families in Ghana and also offer some comment. Please do not be disillusioned by your critics and the implementation difficulties you will encounter. Sir, you're on the right path and you do have our full support. Next is your decision and action on illegal mining or galaxy menace. Though a very difficult decision, you managed to implement it and deserve commendation. Please see to it at the very end, which includes restoring the degraded environment, including the water bodies and the vegetation, and facilitating the young ones involved to get skills, training, and sustainable employment. Importantly, make sure that Ghana never experience this menace again by enforcing rules and regulations without fear of favour. Thirdly, we wish to commend you on programmes such as planting for food and agriculture on one district, one factory. We are very interested in these programmes because of their employment generation potential, especially for our youth. Next, Your Excellency, we wish you not to relent on your resolve to eliminate indiscipline especially bribery and corruption from the Ghanaian culture. We urge you not to look at persons, positions, relations and status and enforcing rules and regulations. This is the only way that the habit of discipline will be built. Additionally, sir, as you punish wrongdoing, try to reward right or honest behaviour, especially in public office. Also acknowledge and reward especially volunteerism and selfless service to our dear country, Ghana. This, we believe, is a sure path in bringing about change. The change that Ghana needs, in our view, is about each and every Ghanaian behaving differently and starting with those in leadership. We are solidly behind you. Finally, Your Excellency, we wish to thank you immensely for this unique opportunity to have an audience with you and to make you part of our activities that aim at making Ghana a place worth belonging to. Sir, be assured of our constant prayers for you, your government, your family, and the rest of Ghana at each Mass celebrated in Christ the King Church. I'm grateful for the support that you are emanating about some of the things that we're trying to do. We believe very, very deeply that these are initiatives that properly carried out and sustained and supported will make a, a, a radical contribution to transforming the lives of our people. Uh, we can have within the next decade uh, a situation whereby we are certain that every child in this country can have access to a minimum quality of good education right up to at least the end of secondary school. It means that we are then forming a population that can confront the issues of the 21st century better prepared. The one district, one factory, uh, I think that this year we'll see a, a really systematic unveiling of the program on the ground. Uh, jobs is the major preoccupation of the young people of our country. And uh, we in government, we should have to facilitate and find solutions to important social problems. And the one district, one factor is a, as a base for the industrialization of our country is a contribution that we're making to that exercise. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for the support of the church and of, uh, of councils like yours. And so once again, I appreciate the support that you have uh, exhibited for it. It's, it's part and parcel of the wider fight to, to sanitize our, our social relations there's issues of corruption or indiscipline in the manner in which people, it's all part and parcel of the same goal, that we can build a healthy nation with public services that provide exactly that public service to our people and whose focus are on what can be done to improve 
the conditions of life of the ordinary people of our country. These are the reasons why I was brought here, and they will continue to be the reasons that will animate everything that I try to do here. I know that people like you are there to point it out when it goes wrong, just as I'm hopeful that, uh, that when we get it right, too, we will have the, um, the strong support of, 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 of people like you. I think that is a way in which we can ensure progress for our country. So um, what we can do to support the work that you're doing within the resources and the means of government, you can take it for granted that it will be, it, it will be forthcoming. And once again, I thank you very much for your visit here.